Secretary General Ban Ki-moon says Africa has an enormous stake in the success of the COP21 climate change summit. He has chaired a high-level meeting of African countries as thousands of delegates continue negotiations in Paris. Britain's Prince Charles has also addressed the summit. The stark reality of the challenge of this summit dawns as the first full day of negotiations got underway at COP21. Most leaders have left, leaving some 40,000 delegates to thrash out the details inside a draft agreement. Britain's Prince Charles called for more to be done to protect forests. He said accelerated action to stop deforestation is needed now more than ever. There can be no room for failure. It is very simple. We must save our forests, for there is no plan B to tackle climate change or many of the other critical challenges that face humanity without them. Great Green Wall is one initiative financed by the African Union hoping to address the issue. It is seeing trees being planted across the width of Africa, from Senegal to Djibouti. It started as a tree planting initiative, but it's developed into more of a development initiative, looking at issues such as green jobs, food security, curbing migration. There was also a high-level meeting of African delegates, including South Africa. Securing finances to fund green technology across the continent is a key focus. South Africa's Minister of Environment Affairs, Edna Maliwa, says agreement must be reached. We don't have a terminology that says what if it fails? We don't have a thought even that says, what if it fails? I like what uh, uh, the Secretary General always says, there is no planet B, so there can't be plan B. Plan A will be a legally binding agreement, which all hope will be ready to present by the end of next week. Africa is playing a huge part here at COP21, but much of the continent's success when it comes to cutting emissions and introducing greener technology will depend on financial agreements with developed nations. Dan Whitehead, SABC News, Paris.